Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial video for Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning, the Age of Reckoning private server. It's me, Zarbix, the Zarbix on Twitch, here with one on the UI editor. So it's a kind of a smaller video today, but I think it's something that some players don't know exists and could really make your life a lot easier if you do and you play around with it. So what you want to do is press escape, guys. Go to user settings, go to interface, and click on the layout editor right here. So this actually lets you move around and change um, pretty much everything on your screen. So any window on your screen, um, you can right click, um, either move around by clicking on it. It'll turn a yellowish color. You can move it to anywhere you want on your screen. You can go to the right or you know left corners, enlarge it, or make it smaller. If you right click on it, you get other options um, to make it appear you know more bold or less bold, see through. Um, to lock it in a certain location so it can't be moved ever. Um, to hide the window, to show the window, and there's actually a lot of um, variations of this. I mean, you can get rid of your chat bar if you want to. You can get rid of you know, group windows or even move around your um, tactic slots. So it's nice if, you know, you install Vin UI or Yak UI and, you know, there are things that are missing that you don't find there or maybe you don't like the placement of something. You have the freedom to go in and pretty much change everything around. And that was a nice thing that Mythic did that was well ahead of its time, letting you just play around with pretty much every element of your user interface. And um, if you make a mistake, you can always go back to restore default. You go to Windows and actually find pretty much everything in here and um, play around with it. Uh, and then at the end, all you're gonna wanna do is click exit and click save. I'm gonna do no because I'm not changing that. And um, there you go. And then you can even save your layout um, by going, let's see, going back in here. You can actually save your layout and then add it to your profiles and um, port it to another character. And so you find another character on the server, click on them and uh, there you go. So hopefully that helps you out guys. Uh, makes your, make, make your screen a little bit nicer. Get all the action there when you need it. Um, Thank you guys. I will see you later on Twitch or on the battlefield. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.